hey guys it's liz welcome back to my channel i'm back again this week with a new video and today's video we are going to be making matumbo matumbo is beef tripe in english in case you're wondering what matumbo is also known as beef honeycomb tripe uh we just call it matumbos in swahili mostly in kenya it's eaten with ugali but i guess you can eat it with rice you can eat it with mashed potatoes or any dish of your choice uh, so that's what we're going to be making today as you can see so what i'm going to do is show you how i made this delicious meal from the beginning to the end so let's get down to it and here we have our tripe i have spent some time cleaning it so what i'm going to do is uh, cut it into smaller pieces even though i said i spent a lot of time cleaning it i bought it already cleaned already breached already looking white you don't by it when it's looking some type of greenish to be quite honest you guys it took me a long time a long, long many years uh to even convince myself to buy beef tripe uh not because i don't eat tripe but because every time i went to supermarket and i saw it and it was white i just in my head thought it did not taste good because i was never used to seeing it sold like this i mean like back in them days when we were growing up if you bought it from the uh i mean when you bought it the butcher did not clean it for you all the way so when i saw this white thing i was like nah i'm not gonna be trying this and it's been a long long time really many many years but i finally convinced myself to buy after i talked to a friend of mine who told me that it's really really good and uh she said that it tastes just like um the regular tripe that we grew up eating so give it a try and i loved it loved it loved it loved it we are cutting this into smaller pieces and as you can see here it is it's all cut and the next thing we're gonna do is boil this tripe matumbo is actually or tripe is actually the stomach lining of a cow a sheep uh whatever uh but this one is beef so uh because it's pretty pretty hard you want to make sure that uh you boil it to make sure that it's well cooked but you know boil it to your own liking but mine is gonna be boiling for a pretty pretty good hour and a half to two hours all right so here it is and an hour later that's how it looked like two hours later here it is and it's all cooked and we're going to strain this water out make sure you strain all the water and then we're gonna go ahead and cook this matumbo so here we have our onions and garlic cooking and we're gonna cook our onions and garlic for a few minutes and once they start turning golden brown not quite golden brown i'm going to go ahead and add the tomatoes and here are the tomatoes here are the tomatoes all right as you can see the tomatoes are also cooking nicely once we cook the tomatoes for a few more minutes we are going to start adding our beef tripe all right and here is a tripe or matumbos as you can see these are cooked already to be quite honest so cooking them over here is to make sure that we add some flavor spices add everything we can add to make this matumbo taste really really good so that's all we are doing here but otherwise as far as cooking since i boiled it for about two hours it's pretty pretty much uh fully cooked all right but you don't want to eat it after boiling it's not gonna taste good so you're gonna have to figure out other things to add to it or in order for it to taste good so we're gonna go ahead and add our bell peppers all right here are the bell peppers so let me tell you guys if you're looking at this and you're getting grossed out by the matumbos you have not seen how they make bacon all right you know how they say you don't want to know how the sausage is made as in you don't want to know how the sausage is made from scratch it's the same thing you don't want to know how bacons are made i think they should have used bacon instead of sausage because if you guys have watched the movie uh what the health it's not a movie really it's a documentary uh then you would never eat bacons again actually i watched that in uh, 2018 and i became a vegan for two years and then i was not a vegan anymore after two years i missed eating meat 
actually tripe has some health benefits which i'm going to list at the end from webmd as you can see a staging color but i'm going to cook my matumbo until they are no longer white We're gonna go ahead and add our spices. Of course, I have pre-mixed my spices as I always do with most of my dishes. And I'm going to go ahead and list which spices I use, but uh, there's no specific ones. You can use whatever you have in your kitchen. Uh, anything that you like, your, your own spices, the spices that you personally like. That's why I always tell you, don't worry about, unless it's a specific dish that calls for specific spices, you can use just about anything. And I say that because for me personally, I like spices like uh, garam masala, I like paprika, I like coriander, and maybe you don't like garam masala or you don't like paprika. So use whatever spices that you like. Most of the time, they will go just fine because the whole idea of spices is what? To make the food taste good, yeah? All right, so we are going to go ahead and add some soy sauce and make sure your soy sauce is organic because... Of course, you know soy is not the best thing out there. So that's why I always make sure that when I buy it, I buy the organic one because that's another whole topic about soy. I'm going to go ahead and add some more. So the whole idea is I want my tripe to turn brown so that at the end, when it's fully cooked, it's not white. Can't even imagine eating white. Now, with the bell peppers, you guys, most of the dishes that I cook, my bell peppers, I like to eat them like crunchy. But with this particular dish, I cook the bell peppers all the way. I don't like to eat them crunchy together with the chewy meat kind of meat. So I'm going to add some homemade beef stock. I had made some beef yesterday and I saved some stock knowing that I was going to make matumbo today. Uh, you don't have to, but I personally like to add this. You can either add the one from the stores or homemade. Personally, I don't buy the one from the stores. So I make mine at home. You just cook beef and you get your stock. All right. So that's what I just added. It's going to give it another flavor of just regular beef. Then we're going to add some tomato sauce. There it is. As you can see, it, the color is changing from white to some type of brown, and that's what I wanted. That is from the spices and also the sauce, the soy sauce. I'm also going to go ahead and make some gravy. Uh, you can just quickly mix this at home, see? So we're going to let this cook for a few more minutes. The tripe is fully cooked and ready to be served. Over here we have our ugali and here is the cooked matumbo. I did add some cilantro on the plate and because it was very hot, you can see they fully cooked right on the plate. At the end, you can garnish your uh, try it with whatever you like. You can use uh, the green onions, uh, scallions, or you can use cilantro or parsley or basil, whatever you like. All right, and we have some type of kachubari, not quite kachubari, but that is how I prepared it, as you can see. If tripe look perfect, not looking white anymore. And over here, I have some information from WebMD about uh, beef tripe. So you can pause the video and read. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. That's all for today. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Because when you have the notification bell on, it means the next time I post a video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and God bless. Bye.